the biggest thing for me was just kind of having that experience of like, okay, like it's not really like the muscle that I'm like worried about or the tendon or the ligaments. Mm -hmm. It's more like the nervous system and the personality. Like that was really where I think like you get a lot of buy-in in the stuff that you do where it's like, you know, I'm under, I'm under the same bars. Uh, I'm deadlifting like, you know, I, I'm kind of in that day to day with them. So I think that was, that's the biggest thing with working with athletes at a higher level was like, it's, you got to understand like the personality first, but also like what it does to like your body and especially your central nervous system. Mm-hmm. You're just, it's just something different. Like when yeah. that walks in the door, you're like, okay, everyone in this waiting room is kind of a human being. But if we were like, you know, if we were going to do this from like a taxonomy standpoint and we were starting to like pick apart, like, okay, subclassifications and phylums and kingdoms it's like that one is different (laughs) you just start to realize just there's just different people like they're just they're just not like like they're not like other people (laughs) so i've been lucky to kind of build a practice even now like remotely with some of the guys i work with Mm -hmm. mostly kind of in the nfl and you just start to realize and you with fighters like and the fighters that i've come across it's like they're just they're just wired different and people say that and it and i've heard it before i started working with these guys but it like it it's not like a it's not like a parable it's not just like a thing when you work with these guys you're like they're like superheroes it's like some men in black shit you're like what the (laughs) fuck was that yeah so yeah it's just they're like us we always say like they got a special type of crazy you know and uh, it's a, the elite of the elite are, are super out there in a way, in a way they think and, and how they act. And that's, that's kind of their normal because, you know, regular people's normal is not the way they act. That's why they're not in the position that the elites are in, you know. So it makes sense. It's crazy. Though. Yeah. And once, like, once you kind of like – and it's – they're all they're, – they're different normals. They're all different from one another. Like, yeah. but – you you just you know when you cross that threshold that you're like okay like this dude will run through walls to get better like and most people won't even like set an alarm in the morning or eat breakfast and it's like this guy and, and across the board man with like all the like the higher end athletes i work with it's and that's where like the the, the empathy comes in it's like for most people in a clinical setting what I need to do is to get them to do the things they don't want to do when you deal with an elite level athlete is getting them to do less Mm-hmm. right like mm-hmm. they're just like what can i do like what can i do what can i do and so it's like fuck like, oh, like chill man like come on you yeah. do it don't you think you do enough yeah but uh, that's that was my first exposure to just like just a different creature man yeah yeah it's funny because when i started working at att as a coach you know i thought the same way i would think if working with general pot when i was working with them i'm like oh i'm gonna have to motivate these guys and really get in them or like even like with high school football, like it's a little different there, you know what I mean? And you need to kind of motivate those guys sometimes because they're kids. But these guys, it's like, and I don't need to do any of that. I don't even remember the last time I had to yell, you know, and just really just the main thing that I need to do is make sure that everything is on point from a structure standpoint. And then also making sure I'm pulling them back because they're going to they're going to end up overtraining themselves no matter what. So I'm pretty sure you go through that, especially with the elite level powerlifters. You've worked with we work with hockey, too, right? Or is that something? That yeah, you do? Uh, yeah, hockey, NFL, uh, powerlifting, some some mixed martial arts. 